my channel name is EC Engineering 531. It is very useful for polytechnic students as well as engineering students. Uh, you can watch this in YouTube. Please like, share and subscribe EC Engineering 531 channel. Today's topic is Ward Layout Control System. In this system, the speed of speed of the DC motor is controlled by varying the applied voltage to the armature. In this method, M1 is the main DC motor whose speed is to be controlled and G is a generator that is separately actually the DC generator which is driven by three phase induction motor or a DC motor that is M2. And you can see here according to this diagram a generator is uh, driven using the uh, DC motor M2 and uh, the supply from the generator is given to the DC motor M M1 and that motor is to be controlled and a field regulator is uh, given uh, which in which the speed can from the generator supply can be varied in this manner the motor m1 can be uh, m1's speed can be varied according to the requirement and as said earlier you can see we can also use a three phase induction motor uh, for this purpose also that is coupled with the coupled with the separately exit DC generator and the supply is given to the DC motor uh, that to be the speed to be controlled. Now the generator is driven by the motor M2 and the speed of the motor M2 is constant and the output of the uh, generator is given to M1 and a field regulator connected across the generator with the DC supply line controls the feed excitation. The direction of the motor M1 can be reversed by adjusting the generator excitation current using the reversing switch while the motor and generator uh, sets in the continuous uh, runs in the same direction. Now we can see that is a motor uh, DC motor set and it the supply of the generator is given to the motor set and a motor M2 either a three phase induction motor or DC motor is connected to the coupled to the generator you can see and you can I said earlier the motor DC motor M1 can be uh, rotation can be reversed or in forward direction without changing the rotation of the generator and the motor M2. Now we are going to see about the advantages of one driven method. This very smooth speed control system over a wide range. This speed can be controlled in both the direction of rotation of the motor easily. And uh, third one, the motor can run in the uniform acceleration. And fourth one, the speed regulation of the DC motor in the vehicle system very good. And it has regenerative braking property. Next one, the disadvantages of one regenerative method is overall efficiency of this system is not sufficient, especially if it is light loaded and large spaces are required because of the large motors and it is too costly because of two extra motors that is motor and generators are required and uh, frequent maintenance that is frequent maintenance means uh, you must maintain frequently and uh, it also requires more floor area and it produces more noises and this applications of this method is for uh, cranes, electric elevators, 
excavators, mini hosters, elevators, steel rolling mills, paper machine and diesel locomotives etc. Because the direction of the rotation can be changed as required. So it is used in all purpose. Thanks for watching my channel. Please share, subscribe and like my channel.